I like to be able to challenge, look at what they currently do. No business is perfect and we can always find improvements. I don't want to just go and say this isn't very good, that's not very good. I'd much rather try to take a proactive approach, look at it, assess it, go away, try and find a solution and then go present, have you looked at this? Why can't we do it this way? Um, I think that a lot of people coming into the business can do that because they've got fresh eyes and that's what I think the advantage of getting graduates and apprentices is into a business. I don't think I will have a single greatest achievement within the business. What I have done is work in multiple departments which has allowed me to get lots of experience and had an effect on all different areas. So I've been in business development, I was doing work winning, we've won tenders, I've now as a result gone and been working on that so I can see the effect I've had there. I've also been in other areas doing designs um, and pre-construction and things like this. They're all having an effect in different ways. I've got involved with the institutions, with the ICE, which you can do at university. They're really keen to get graduates and students and apprentices involved through EngTech and different things like this. I'm the vice chair of the Institution of Civil Engineers Graduate and Student Network. For me, it was going down the graduate scheme, but if I could have made a decision and become an apprentice, I could have done a higher apprenticeship, I could have made any of those decisions. And I think that a lot of people can learn from that, and I'd like to kind of show people what the different options are in their careers. I started realising that when I did some work experience during my teenage years, that actually it was the application of the science that was really interesting to me. I think I bring a lot of things to the business. One of the main ones is a fresh way of thinking and challenging the norms so that we can innovate and push forwards. I think in a business like Siemens, there's a lot of very clever people, and it's sometimes uh, just being able to bring these people together. So I feel that that's something as a new person, there's, there's no politics of me going around and asking for uh, ideas and opinions. And I think that allows me to connect people a little bit. And I think that's my strength, maybe. I think with this employer, some of the biggest achievements I've made have been related to improving our processes. So challenging the way we've done things and uh, as a result, coming up with new ways of doing it and saving the business quite a lot of money as a result. Went out to China within the first two months of joining the business to in, um, commission a new test system uh, software out in China in one of our partner factories. So that was a great moment for me. And also just recently I made a trip to our lead factory in Germany where I was out there making connections for advanced manufacturing and new technologies so that we can form partnerships to help us here in Congleton and elsewhere in the UK. So. Well, I think um, to the business uh, um, is important, for example, cost reduction activities. I think I fit into this business as a value improvement engineer. So far, I've delivered the one black belt project while working in, co in a quality and business improvement for Trend 1000 uh, that is, uh, has the potential to save five million pounds for Rolls Royce per year just for one engine. Uh, this can be easily spread across multiple engines, so it will be uh, an opportunity for a multi-million pound saving. Also, I've delivered in turbines a green belt project on lean manufacturing that basically delivered 80% improvement in productivity on a critical process and 30% uh, reduction in headcount. I see my future as a full-time black belt in a, uh, an advanced uh, manufacturing engineering leadership position. So what I would like to do is uh, uh, learning to manage uh, people, workload, financial issues within uh, uh, time frames and uh, developing and deepening my uh, engineering background to become a knowledgeable leader. So I plan to become chartered engineer accredited in one year time. And uh, also all my um, act activities that I do outside Rolls Royce, uh, for example, STEM ambassador, uh, are also important because I think to be a good model for other graduates is important not just what to deliver to the business but also all the activities around. Stefano joined me um, in the Trent Thousand project to do an improvement activity uh, in rotatives and delivered one of the best and most comprehensive projects that I've seen in my, in my time in the business. It's really stretched the potential we've got in that area. People never do things to get recognised of course. So when I, I found out that uh, I was uh, one of the finalists, uh, it was a fantastic surprise for me. And um, I think I'm, I could be on the right path to win this award because of the achievements and the benefits I've delivered to the business in a short period of time. Whenever I'm tasked with a new project or a new task of any kind, I'm always trying to think about an innovative way, way that I can approach it. So I try and take what I've learned through university, which is quite a different set of skills from the people I work with functionally, and apply that to tasks. So 
Some great examples are when we were looking at a major strategic decision facing the business. I took game theory, which I'd learnt about university through my mathematics studies, and applied that to the strategic decision to give quite a visual representation of the options that our senior leaders had to decide between. That was really appreciated by them, um, and it's actually something that's now deeply ingrained in how that team does business. I think my, my greatest achievement was during my time in Singapore with the marine business, where what started with a, a simple conversation where I fed back my views on how we dealt with customer issues to a senior executive I was talking to, and he allowed me to take that project forward, and over three months that grew into a major programme which addresses our fundamental approach to customer issues and how we respond to them. Like I said, I have taken the opportunity to work in a number of different regions across our sectors in the business to try and understand exactly how Rolls-Royce comes together. In around five years, I'd like to see myself in a position where I'm leading quite a distinct project and I'm able to bring together everything that I'm learning and being taught at the moment to lead a team of people and really add value to the company.